Today we're going to talk about a very important component of cardiac physiology, the cardiac output. And cardiac output is the amount of blood that the heart pumps to the rest of the body per unit of time. And it's dependent on two important variables. The first variable is the stroke volume. And the stroke volume is the amount of blood that is pumped per beat of the heart. The second variable is the heart rate. So the cardiac output is basically the stroke volume times the heart rate, which gives us a volume of blood pumped per unit of time to the rest of the body. Now, let's talk a little bit more in depth about the stroke volume. The stroke volume is dependent on a couple of key and important topics. The first topic, contractility. So you can imagine if the heart is contracting with more force, it's going to be able to pump more blood per beat increasing the stroke volume which will increase the cardiac output. The second key component of stroke volume is what is known as preload. And preload you can think of as the amount of blood that's sitting in the heart right before it contracts. Another way of, of uh, thinking about preload is basically the end diastolic volume or when the heart relaxes how much blood flows into the ventricle to be pumped out. So if preload increases there's more blood ready to be pumped out to the rest of the body stroke volume will increase and cardiac output will increase. The third component is what's known as afterload. And afterload is the pressure the heart must overcome to eject that blood into the rest of the body. And this is basically the mean arterial pressure, which is a component of the blood pressure. So, these are the key, uh, key and important elements of the cardiac output. And in future videos, we'll talk a little bit about why the cardiac output is such an important physiological topic to discuss when talking about different diseases of the heart and vasculature. Thank you.